Uh, yeah, so here's the steps. Basically, you got your box. You, it comes with the power cord, comes with an HDMI cable, comes with everything you need, the remote. So you're going to plug it in, plug the HDMI cable to the back of your television from the out port. Uh, make sure it's the out port instead of the in port going to your television. Um, you know, make sure your, your uh, input settings are correct. And this is the first screen that's going to come up. This is the Android home screen. The next step is you're going to want to make sure that your internet's connected. The way to do that is you could either go to your settings up here, or you could press the yellow settings button on your remote, right there. Now, there's two ways to connect it. You could connect it either through Wi-Fi or through Ethernet. Ethernet's always a better way to go if you don't mind it, although most of our customers do use uh, Wi-Fi. As long as you've got a decent Wi-Fi signal, you should be fine with Wi-Fi. Uh, to set up Wi-Fi, you just click on Wi-Fi right here. You turn it on, which in this case, I'm going to turn it off because I am on Ethernet. But actually, I'm going to turn it back on just to show you real quick. Click it. show you again the settings. It'll show your modem on the side here. You just want to go to your, the correct uh, modem, type in your password, by going to each letter and clicking OK. That's a, uh, this is where the mini keyboard will come in really handy if you want to order that as well. We sell these for $35 extra. Um, this has a backlight to it and uh, comes in real handy. Also uh, has um, a chart pad that works with it as well. But um, as, once you get your internet connected to it, which is the juice, sends the juice to the box, you want to, um, and in this case today, we're, we're, we've got the Ethernet connected on this box. So um, once you do that, you want to go into your apps here. And the next thing you want to do is a speed test. Because this is going to tell you exactly how much juice you're sending to the box. Uh, you scroll down further than you can see. They're in alphabetical order. Go over here to speed test. It'll probably give you a welcome message in the beginning. until you find uh, find your best servers. Um, speed tests are very important because it's, it's going to tell you just how well your box is operating in your location according to your setup. When you see this big yellow, orange yellow button that says begin test, there's a trick to clicking on it. You have to click on it with the cursor. And so you can either do that with uh, the mini keyboard remote, which has a, uh, a cursor to it, or you can activate the cursor on the standard remote by pressing the cursor button in the bottom right hand corner of the circle pad here. Now, here's where a lot of people get hung up. After you press the cursor button, nothing's going to happen until you start to navigate again. And then the cursor will magically appear on the screen. You, you hold the buttons down to kind of drag it to where you need it to go. And then you can press OK on top of the begin test and it'll begin the test. Now, the download speed is the most important reading we're looking for in this circumstance. Uh, that's um, Now that's the reading that you want to get the average results. So we got, uh, in this case, 40 megabytes per second. You want at least, uh, we, you know, even though you can run these on about 5 megabytes or more, we really, for an ideal experience, you want at least 15, preferably 20 megabytes or better. And really for live television, you need about 28 megabytes or better to run uh, live television or uh, high definition films without any buffering. So uh, we'll back out of here. That's how you take care of that. Uh, if you have issues with that, it might be a good idea to power cycle your modem. Uh, after you're done with that, you want to toggle off of your cursor because that's not normally a good way to navigate. You just simply hit the button again and then navigate the way that you, the, the normal way. So now we've got uh, it confirmed that we've got some good internet juice going to this box. The next step is to go down to your system updates here. This is your OTA updates. And, you, and you're going to see that there's an online version and a local version. If these are the same, you don't have to bother with it. Um, I've just actually uh, did a uh, factory data reset on this box, which is why these are the, still the same. If, if this box has never been set up, then you'll, you'll notice that the local version is blank and you just simply download it from here. Um, I don't need to download this here, so let me cancel that. 
All right, so let me back out because that's already taken care of. So assuming you've already now updated the OTA, which is the system update, the next step is you want to go and do a uh, factory reset from here. And click yes on there. It's going to um, it's going to reboot. After it's done, if you're on Wi-Fi, you're going to need to put in your Wi-Fi password in there again and uh, set everything back up again um, as far as your Wi-Fi or your internet is, is concerned. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to install uh, our special Kodi setup on the box through the Anon, Anon Manager. While this, ups, while, while this is updating, I'll tell you a little bit about the updates. There are three types of updates available. There's the OTA update, or the system updates, which update the entire operating system. Uh, those aren't as frequent, those are pretty rare, and when they are available, just know that it's never really mandatory to update those. It's just by preference, and if you do, you'll just need to set up the box from scratch again. Uh, the next update is the add-ons manager update. That sets up Kodi with all our special settings and all of the video add-ons and music add-ons and program add-ons that uh, we are recommending and featuring for you. Um, that's one of the reasons that our box is so special is we fully manage it and maintain it for you so that you don't have to keep up with those add-ons and try and figure out which ones are the best one to search in. Uh, we'll always be featuring the best ones for you in front of you. Um, now those add-ons will update themselves automatically through the box um, and but sometimes the individuals that are maintaining those add-ons, who are all independent enthusiasts, you know, they'll go on vacation or jump ship or, you know, for whatever reason, they uh, will drop the ball on occasion and uh, may have too many broken links or certain uh, databases might be broken. Um, if that stays that way for too long, you'll notice those add-ons are gone and replaced next time you run your add-ons manager. Because the add-ons manager basically is going to mirror our server of what we're saying is the best setup to have at that time. And uh, so anywhere from, anywhere from every three to four weeks, you could expect a new uh, update for the add-ons manager to roll out. And uh, you would just look for those in the add-ons manager, which I'll show you here as soon as this reboots. Um, so that's how you update those. Um, trying to think of what else I could tell you as this is updating. I got my uh, special assistant here, uh, Tina, recording for me, and, and she's uh, pretty new to the streaming industry. Um, she actually hasn't even really, uh, doesn't really watch TV, has hardly even owned a TV for years. Um, so this is kind of, anyway, this is Tina, say hey. hi. <laughs> so um, I, I wanted to ask you, with this being a new industry to you, and, and and our new brought box, something that's kind of informed, because you're not even really techie, are you? Mm, not some, I mean, I play on the internet and I use it quite a bit, but I don't do a lot of technological stuff. Right. So do you think for the average person, the average family, uh, how well do you think they would take to the box? Like, how, how did you take to the box? Do you have any advice for them or any suggestions? Um, well, just being able to search for whatever I'm interested in pulls up a, a wide variety of things to um, click on to explore and to find out what works best for me. Um, you know, there are occasionally things that don't load, um, and there are a lot of things that take a while to load, but then what they eventually work, so it's just accessing it through your internet. And um, yeah, it's been amazing to be able to access all the different kinds of media and to watch it on the TV. It's been very easy. Oh, yeah. Thanks for sharing, too. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so she, Tina brought up a, a good point uh, as far as um, some of the content you click on might not work. Not everything's going to work, but uh, we groom this box so that a good 95% or more of what you click on should work for you. Um, and we continue to, to have updates to improvements as well. Um, now that this is fully updated and refreshed, if you're on Wi-Fi, the next step to do is hit settings and re-put in your, your Wi-Fi password. Uh, but since we're on Ethernet, we don't have to worry about that right now. So now I'm going to take you right directly to the add-ons manager, show you what I'm talking about. It's the very first add-on here. 
and I click OK on it. And again, you'll notice that there's a local version and a server version. And in this case, the local version is empty, so we need to, we need to uh, upload that to the box. So we're going to go ahead and click on uh, Upload, download that, to, or install, I should say. And as I say, that's uh, going to um, mirror our servers of what is the best setup that we fill you for you at the time. Your course welcome to personalize it even further and, uh, and add other add-ons. There's actually over 2,000 add-ons loaded on the box featured for you, or, or loaded for you, but uh, there's a good, uh, you know, so somewhere around 100 add-ons that we're featuring for you. Um, now, some of these databases that you go into are larger than others um, and may take longer to open up than others. Um, especially if you've never been in there yet. So just keep that in mind. It'll help you to have a little patience sometimes um, when you're going through the slight learning curve. Another thing to remember is after it's updated fully, that's when we could go into Kodi and just be aware that it's still going to be continuing to do some updates in the background for a good 15-20 minutes and um, may act a little funny in the meantime while those are updating. You'll get a lot of messages, uh, you know, that say like um, certain add-ons may not have enough dependencies. Would you like to uninstall it? Uh, the answer is always the best answer is always no, because actually it's still updating in the background and just hasn't completed yet. Um, so just keep that in mind. You'll see that when we get to that point. Um, I think what we're going to do now is just pause the video, and then uh, we'll we'll show you the next step. All right. Talk to you soon. Okay, we're back. Um, that was what, I don't know, two, three minutes uh, to finish the uh, update. And it brings us back to this screen here. We know it's completed because the server and local version is going to say the same thing. Uh, now, at this point, you just hit the return button to go back, hit the return button again. And now we're going to go into Kodi to see our setup. Click on Kodi. And by the way, there's also a Kodi button on the remote that will, a little shortcut that will. Where is that? Take, take you there. So this little red button. The red button. Here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we are looking at the Kodi home screen with our special setup. Uh, we have a few add-ons uh, that we're already uh, featuring the shortcuts down here at the bottom for you. Um, as you scroll across the menu tab, you'll notice that the music tab's got some more some music add-ons. Now. I'm just featuring these shortcuts at the bottom because these are a few popular ones that we want to highlight, but you definitely want to go in and um, to your video add-ons. Uh, now, by the way, this is, this is a message that I was telling you about earlier. Uh, when you first go to Kodi, as I, I was saying, it's still going to continue to be doing updates in the background, and it doesn't recognize all of them yet. So for that reason, you'll get some odd messages like this. The best thing to do is just always say no. You don't want to delete anything important that's, uh, that we've installed on the box because sometimes a lot of these add-ons are, uh, you know, are necessary for other add-ons to work. Um, and you'll, uh, here in a few minutes, you'll probably see some more um, updates in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, if any of them say they failed or anything like that, don't worry about it. Like I say, it's still doing updates in the background and, and uh, completing its uh, doing its thing. So what you want to do is you want to go into your video add-ons here so that you can see them all at once in alphabetical order. Uh, these are all, as I say, unique add-ons that uh, by other enthusiasts that we are featuring for you, and they all specialize in different content. Some specialize in live TV, some specialize in, uh, in pre-recorded content, some specialize in movies, some specialize in TV shows, uh, you know, sporting events, adult content, you name it. There's something for everybody in here. And um, so there's going to be a, a slight learning curve, uh, just getting used to some of these add-ons and knowing what some of them are. And uh, if you have our uh, support plan, uh, where you, you could call in, and, and I'll be happy to help you get over that learning curve. Um, so there's a, that's an option for you as well. But um, keep in mind that 
you know, these add-ons, we, we groom these add-ons so that you're always looking at some of the best add-ons to, to uh, be working with. Now, if any of them happen to be broken, just be patient, and uh, next time you run your add-ons manager, they'll probably be replaced by then. Um, we've got Broomfield as the weather set in here for you, just as a placeholder. Uh, to change that, you just simply go over here to System, go down to Settings, go over to Weather, Yahoo Weather underneath it, you go to, go to Settings, and then click on where it says Broomfield, and you could go ahead and then type in your own city there, hit Done. Um, another thing you might want to need to do, do is change the time to your particular uh, demographics. To do that, you could hit the home button on the remote, which will take you back to the um, Android home screen. You want to go into settings, scroll down to date and time, and then you select time zone. You just go in here and choose your proper time zone. That will change the time on the front of the box and, uh, and on Cody where you need it. Okay, so that's how you set up the FOMO stream box from scratch. That will work with any of the FS1 series that we have. And if you have any other questions beyond that, uh, make sure you refer to our online tutorials at support at FOMOstream.com. That's uh, spelled F-O-M-O-S-T-R-E-A-M.com. Again, my name is Neil Sargisian. I do appreciate your time and your business. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day.